Welcome to Chef's Kitchen. I'm Roy de Jesus. I'm at La Casa de la Pasta in Carrollwood, North Tampa, and we're making gnocchi with a putanesca sauce. We're going to get our hands dirty. So first of all, uh, Enrique and Chef Picolino are going to teach me how to make a gnocchi, uh, gnocchi pasta, right? Gnocchi pasta, yeah. yeah. So Enrique, what do I need to do to make a gnocchi? Okay, first of all, we have here the flour. We put out a little bit pepper and salt, and we add three eggs. So flour, salt, pepper, three eggs. Exactly. And now we're going to start to put the potato. In order to make uh, gnocchi, we use the flour. same amount of, of flour that this you're going to use the same exactly. amount. Exactly. The same potato. amount of flour, the same amount of potato. You're going to use uh, two or three eggs, salt and pepper. So you guys back at home have an idea of what it takes to do this. Enrique, go ahead and, and uh, show me how to do this. Okay. You, the secrets, open a, a little bit hole in the middle and you start to move everything and mix it from outside to inside oh i see okay so let me take a crack at it have an idea of exactly. how dirty it's gonna get enrique was born in italy and he basically visited the homeland plenty of times so he, he knows what he's doing as far as gnocchi right yeah and a lot of people look at the word gnocchi the G, the N, and then you're like gnocchi or something. G N O C C. Exactly, but it's gnocchi. 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 It's a, the the real word is gnocco. Gnocco that is invented, uh, you know, in Rome, and um, a lot of countries use it. In uh, South America, a lot of, a lot of countries made the gnocchi also in the end of the month because it's the most cheap meal. That we because of the potatoes. Because it's the potato and flour, and that's it, an egg. Now we're going to actually make it into the little gnocchi balls. Exactly. All right, so what, what do we do? We just make it into little balls? No. Now, you start to oh, okay. take a flour. It's not a one size, okay? You can do it or, or more thick or more thin. It's depend. So you want to cut, and it really you're not, you're not getting any particular size. uniform size. No, you just no, want to... No. No. Okay. You start to cut it. We like it in this way, for example, a lot of people like it. Take a little bit fork and ah, do a little design. design. Let's do a little work and, and uh, we'll go back and do the puttanesca sauce after this. Just a heads up, the potatoes were already cooked. This means you don't have to spend too much time boiling the pasta. After pressure washing our hands for a little bit, uh, we are now in the stage of the sauce, which is a puttanesca sauce. Personally, one of my favorite sauces Me too. from from Italy. Uh, it's got the the olives, the capers, the anchovies, and garlic, all the great stuff that you get from the Mediterranean. So, uh, Chef Picolino, I'm gonna let you carry on. Okay. Start by sauteing fresh crushed garlic. Also add diced onions. And now we add the fresh tomatoes and we saute. Next, throw in some anchovies. Is there a way to make it without anchovies? I mean, if it doesn't have anchovies, it's not it's really not puttanesca. It's not really puttanesca. The black olives and the capers. Oh, uh, you, you can already smell it. Basil, fresh basil. Some white wine. White wine. Add a little bit of clam juice and most importantly the marinara sauce. Salt and pepper always to taste. Now remember the potato to make the gnocchi was pre-cooked, so you'll only need to slightly boil the pasta for a couple of minutes. In fact, Enrique says to cook the pasta with the sauce. And you'll want an al dente finish, which simply means that it's been cooked to be firm but not hard. Check this out. Gnocchi from scratch and an authentic puttanesca sauce for some good eating. Come out to La Casa de la Pasta in Carrollwood. Until next time, I'm Roy de Jesus and you're in the Chef's Kitchen.